when I posted the video on probiotic drink, Neera Haram made with rice, uh, one of the friends had asked me if I can post a video showing how to cook the rice because many people actually do not know how to cook perfect rice. So in this video, I'm going to show you um, a few ways, different ways of cooking the rice. The first method I'm going to show you is 1 is to 2 ratio. Rice and water ratio is 1 is to 2. And the second method is just um, boil and strain. And then the third method is rice cooker. It's very easy. And the fourth method is cooking rice in the pressure cooker. If you have not subscribed to my channel, Indian Cooking with Suganti, please click the subscribe button and the bell button. Let's start the cooking. I'm going to show you first the 1 is to 2 ratio method. And I'm going to cook the raw basmati rice and show you. Cooking rice in 1 is to 2 ratio, you have to have a nice um, pot with a tight and heavy lid because you have to cover the rice and cook. If the lid is not tight enough or heavy enough, the steam will push the lid and then escape. So in order to compensate that, you have to add a little bit more water, say 1 is to 2 and a quarter. I'm using this flat pot so the heat will be evenly distributed and the rice will cook perfectly. I'm going to boil the water first. I'm going to cook two cups of raw basmati rice. And um, since this lid is not heavy enough, I'm going to add a little bit more water than the 1 is to 2 ratio. For two cups of rice, I need four cups of water. But uh, since the lid is not tight two, enough, I'm going to add a little bit more than uh, four cups. Four and a little bit more. Then I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Salt is optional. It's Himalayan salt, that's why the color is pinkish. And then I'm going to add a little bit of oil also. Just a couple of spoons of oil. Okay. I'm going to put the lid and cover it and let the water boil. You add the rice, you add the washed rice only into the boiling water. So you have to wait until the water is boiling. I used this cup to measure water, right? So I'm going to use the same cup to measure the rice. One cup of rice and two cup of rice. I'm going to wash this nicely until the water runs out nice and clear. So it will wash all the impurities, the dust and everything, okay? And it will take out some carbs also, the, the starch. My previous video, I had explained what is raw rice and what is boiled rice. So please watch that video on varieties of rice. After washing it a couple of times, the water is nice and clear now. You can also let the rice soak in water for about 10 minutes before cooking. The water is boiling nicely. Now drain the water and add the rice to the boiling water. When you add the rice to the boiling water, the boiling stops. So you have to wait until the um, water gets heated up again and then you put the lid and turn the heat to medium low. So it will take about 13 to 15 minutes for the rice to get cooked. So now you can see the bubbles all coming up. The steam is also escaping. See, I'm going to open it a little bit otherwise it's going to overflow. This is the reason we added a little bit more water. It's been about 13 minutes. Let's check. See, the water is almost everything absorbed. Let's check at the bottom. It's good. This is fine. So you can turn the stuff off. See, your rice is perfectly cooked. So it's a little bit of wetness here. But when you turn the stuff off, the rice will absorb everything. So this is how you test the rice, if it's cooked. And just for me, just by looking at it, I, I know that it's cooked. So if you press it, so you don't see any grain in it. So it's completely cooked. Oh, you can even take some and just eat it and see. So this is just fine. I'm going to turn the stove off. Rice is ready. Looking at the hot rice, I'm drooling for some spicy fish curry or some crab curry to eat with that rice. Next, I'm going to show you uh, how to cook the rice using the second method. Boil and strain the water. In this method, you don't have to measure the water at all. I'm going to cook two cups of boiled basmati rice. Any kind of boiled rice 
needs uh, more water than the raw rice. So the best way to cook any kind of boiled rice is the boil and strain method. So you can add as much water as you can and then you can drain the excess water at the end once the rice is cooked. Let's boil some water. You don't have to measure the water in this method. A little bit of salt to the water. This is optional. If you don't want, you don't have to add. And some oil. Just about one teaspoon, one tablespoon oil. So let me show you the two kinds of lids that's available for this way of cooking the rice. The straining way. So this is one kind. You have holes in it, you can see. So it's easy to strain. And then this is also same one. This has uh, lots of holes. Now I'm going to put this lid so it will boil quickly. I'm going to cook two cups of rice. Okay, so one and two. Wash the rice a few times uh, to take out the impurities and dust and everything. I use this rice water for my plants, especially for my jasmine plants and my curry leaves plants. After a few wash, the water is nice and clear and clean. While waiting for the water to boil, I'm going to leave this rice aside and let it soak. I could hear the water is boiling. Let's check. Perfect. Be careful when you drop the rice. The hot water could splash on you. So very gently drop the rice. Turn the heat to low and don't cover the pot. A quick tip, to avoid uh, boiling over and spills, you can place a metal spoon on top of the pot across. If you think you need to add more water, it's better to add hot water so it will not interrupt the cooking process. Let's check. To check the rice if it's cooked, Take uh, rice and try to mash it with your fingers. If it mashes easily, it's cooked. And if you feel like, uh, like grain in it, if it's grainy, it's not cooked yet. I'm going to let it cook for a few more minutes. By now it should be done. See the water, it's almost absorbed. A little bit left. We're going to strain it now. Let's check, double check. Yeah, I think it's cooked now. You can also eat the rice and see, see, it's mashing, so it's cooked, so I'm going to strain it and that's it. This is another way of cooking the rice by boiling and straining. You can put the lid and then you can strain it. If you are afraid to uh, strain the rice this way, you can dump the whole pot of rice in the strain and then strain it, so you won't burn your hand or anything like that. It's safe also. So this is the straining method. Okay, strain it until the water, all everything is dripped completely, fully strained. And then that's it. Okay, so another way of straining it is just dump the rice in the strainer. leave it for about a few minutes and your rice is ready this is how you cook the rice by boiling and straining wow look at this steaming rice i just could not wait to eat this rice with nice spicy chicken curry next cooking with a rice cooker it's very easy because every rice cooker comes with instruction just follow the instruction that's it with the rice cooker, you always get perfect rice if you measure the water right. Next, you can cook the rice in a pressure cooker. This is the quickest and the easiest way to cook the rice, if you know how to do it right. Actually, you need a little bit less water to cook the rice in a pressure cooker. To cook in the pressure cooker, the ratio for rice and water is 1 is to 1 and a half. And turn the stove on, um, wait for one whistle and turn the stove off. Do not open the lid. Leave it until uh, the wait until all the pressure escape by itself. Do not put the pressure cooker under running water to cool it. Wait until all the pressure escape by itself. Then the pressure valve will sink in 
and then you can open the lid. This is the rice cooked in the pressure cooker. I hope this video was helpful and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet could you please click the subscribe button and the bell button so you will not miss any of the videos I post. All right friends, cheers. Now we need a nice spicy curries to eat with the rice. Fish curry or chicken curry or um, any, any kind of curries uh, goes with the rice or nice hot rasam also. It'll go very uh, good with rice, rice and aplam. Okay, enjoy and uh, I hope you uh, like the video. I will be back soon with more interesting videos. For recipes for these delicious curries, please go to my channel Indian Cooking with Suganti. I will meet you in my next video. Until then, take care and thank you for watching.